Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Ethereum Classic and why I believe it's probably going to squeeze very soon and shoot up, okay? Um, first of all, what is ETCG? ETCG is a Grayscale's Ethereum Classic fund, okay? And this this is kind of like a, a tool, it's just a way for um, traditional investors to be able to invest in crypto. So you have old money, okay? old money and uh, it's just like a normal security so it gives access to these millionaires or whatever that do not know how to manage cryptocurrency wallets and how to store cryptocurrency how to buy them um, to actually invest in crypto so grayscale creates these funds for um, coins that they believe have potential okay uh, this is grayscale so ethereum classic was one of their choices there's a reason for that uh, if you stick with me, I will address the hacking later on and why that shouldn't be really a concern today. Okay, uh, so just stick with me for a little bit. All right, so today, May 13th, uh, 2021, um, it's 1.39 p.m. Central Standard Time and ETCG is $54.9 and Ethereum Classic is $81, okay? All right, so this is the data we have. The latest data we have for the short activity is April 15, 2021. But I'm going to look at the one before that and then look at, you know, this one. So the one before that was um, March 31st, 2021. So on March 31st, 2021, uh, there were 262,000 shares that were shorted to the tune of $3 million. And at that time, the grayscale price was 11 dollars and 78 cents now let's go look at what uh, the cost of ethereum classic was on march 31st 2021 so march 31st 2021 here ethereum classic was 14 dollars so at 14 dollars they believed that ethereum classic was way too high so they went and shorted it okay um now what happened well two weeks later ethereum classic price was higher than $14 um, and ETCG also went up from $11 to $18 and guess what the shorts increased because if you believed it was too expensive at $11 then what stops you from believing that it was too expensive at $18 let's go check the price on April 15 uh, of the real Ethereum classic and oh by the way if you short ETCG you cover by purchasing real Ethereum Classic on the um, on the open market guys on the open market so uh, if real Ethereum Classic prices is ticking upwards you're gonna be spending a lot of money to cover your positions so April 15th let's take a quick look at April 15th April 15th okay on April 15th the price of Oh, April 5th, my bad. I have to go April 15th. Come on. I can do this. There it is. All right, so on April 15th, the price of Ethereum Classic, I think it varied between 22, 23, 26, there about. All right, let's go with 23. Let's find a middle ground. April 15th, the price of Ethereum Classic, okay, was $23 at some point during the day. Uh, it was a little lower earlier, but I picked a middle value here. Now, $23 Ethereum Classic. They thought it was way too expensive, so they went and shorted it a lot more than they did before. That's all the data we have right now. This is how heavily they shorted Ethereum Classic at this point, when um, they shorted it to the tune of $5.9 million. What do you think they did to Ethereum Classic when Ethereum Classic actually hit $45 on April 16th, the very next day? What do you think they did when Ethereum Classic um, came here and hit um, $63, you know, uh, about a week later? They definitely doubled and tripled their position along the way trying to make up for the losses while they were shortening it way back when Ethereum Classic was $14, okay? 
so there are so many shorts in this right now who who have to purchase ethereum classic from the open market that is why as the price dips as you can see as it's dipping they are buying it up the whole market is dipping right now since elon tweeted about ditching bitcoin for tesla purchases everything is red everything is really red it's 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 at a point where ethereum classic should have probably dropped back down to about fifty dollars but but people need to cover so when it comes down enough and they think they have enough they cover because they know that if the price holds up for just a little longer just a little longer they might get squeezed it, their time is ticking okay their accounts could be liquidated if the price keeps pushing upwards and uh, you know they're gonna have to be paying fees and all that you can't hold a short position forever so they know they have to cover at some point so the demand for ethereum classic is going to be high at least for the next few weeks or the next few months at the very least and once once a mob gets a, a, a hint of this and they jump on and push the price a little bit it's gonna scare the short and the shorts will have to cover and they will be forced to cover at very high prices i think that was what even accounted for some of this push up here all the way to 180 dollars because people shorted i'm sure people shorted crazily at a hundred dollars they saw it get to 150 it was still going they didn't know where it was gonna go so they're like you know what let me just cover and be safe so um now a lot of those are slowly coming out okay but there are a lot more who haven't come out yet so uh there there is a possibility that they could be squeezed again they could be squeezed again so so all i'm saying is just you know just if you if you can afford to leave your your um, your money in there, let it ride for a little bit. If you cannot take it out, if you need to pay rent, if you need to pay bills, you know, you do what you got to do. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Okay. Uh, but I'm just I'm just bringing this information out here so that you know you guys can make some informed decisions. And I'm waiting to find more data. I've been digging around, but I cannot find the latest data. It might come out here in the next couple of days and if i do find it i'll make a follow-up video now let's talk about the 51 percent very quickly so the 51 percent attacks are just going to be you know less likely as time goes on okay um so first of all uh when ethereum ethereum mining moved away from four gigabyte graphics cards guess what a lot of those graphics cards went to mine other stuff uh, you know, an Ethereum Classic is one of them that can be mined with a four gigabyte, an old four gigabyte graphics card. Ethereum Classic has a lot more people mining it right now. It's a little bit more decentralized than it was before. And, and then the last, the last hack, okay, the last hack that actually happened was a result of uh, Nice Hash. Okay, so you on Nice Hash. Those who don't know what that is, you can rent hash power there and mine whatever coin you want. The hackers rented enough hash power. To mine enough to get the 51 percent to be able to undertake the hack now um as far as i'm concerned right now etc is delisted from nice hash if there's any update somebody let me know in the comments below and so that possibility is out of the window okay and that was the latest one to be able to get that much hash power you would have to purchase millions millions in equipment and hope that nobody else is trying to do something similar to what you are doing otherwise you will not be able to get the 51 percent and you know so it's just so much harder to undertake uh, than it was before when there were fewer people mining uh, ethereum classic so with with all those being said you know it's possible the, the mine could possibly happen again but it's just getting less and less likely and i made a video about all the uh, the reasons why ethereum classic could be very viable in the near future and prominent among those is the fact that you can port apps that are built on Ethereum and run them on Ethereum Classic. Um, this could come in very, very, very handy when Ethereum prices shoot through the roof. When Ethereum is more than $10,000 and gas fees are, are not something we can afford anymore, then, you know, it's it might become a viable option. Okay. So... All these things could actually send the price of ETC through the roof. And a lot of people who are shorting it, um, some are not very well informed. Some are just, you know, uh, sticking to all they know. Oh, it's been hacked before. It's it's the dead coin. And, and that's how come they are suffering right now, holding $11, $15 shorts on Ethereum. You, you cannot sleep if you see the price 
taken up and it's it stayed in fact it stayed above a hundred dollars for almost a week i was very surprised and uh you know it's down now quite a bit uh but it, just like everything else so we'll see how it holds up i'll make follow-up videos and hopefully i'll see you in the next video oh if you haven't subscribed yet please 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 subscribe and give a thumbs up to the video it goes a long way to help the video thank you for watching peace